So I'm in New York and I came here. Why am I trying to talk while putting lipstick on? I came here alone. This is weird because it's real now. Like I'm actually here, I'm looking at the buildings and shit and hearing the traffic. It's really similar to Toronto, but like on steroids. So I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna vlog, but like right now I'm waiting for my phone to try. <laughs> I forgot to plug it in. All right, so let's rewind a little bit. So in December, I was going through some things. Some of you know, some of you don't. Um, and I was trying to really learn how to cope with these things and I couldn't really figure it out in December now I've dealt with everything um, But I had like this weird moment where I just wanted to go to New York and nobody wanted to go with me And I was going through it So I like had a mental breakdown at like four o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep and I ended up buying a flight and getting a hotel out of nowhere I Didn't even like think about the dates. I didn't I didn't do any planning. I'm just like Flight booked, hotel booked, done. We'll figure everything out later. So I like had to tell my parents because like they're not used to me traveling. Like I've only ever traveled with them. So I had to like sit my mom down or whatever. Like no, I had to like call my mom and be like, I booked a flight. I'm going to New York. She's like, with who? I'm going to New York by myself. <laughs> it didn't end very well. It was on Christmas Eve, so we had to like kind of just forget about it. Um, first thing I got was Shake Shack, but you know what? Not as good as I remembered. It's not. I'm sad to say that. So, I'm here. I'm in the city that never sleeps. Is that what you guys call it? Ugh. My emotion just fell all over the floor. My clumsy ass always has a way to fuck something up. Anyways, as I was saying. So, yeah, like, I, like... Mid mental breakdown, booked a flight, and I'm here now, and I don't know what to do with myself. I've never traveled alone. I live alone, and I go out a lot alone, like I go to dinner alone. I have no problem like going to dinners and stuff right now and doing all that alone, cause like I'm used to it in Toronto, and Toronto feels the same, but New York is like way better and way cooler. Um, right now, I'm just kinda like, I'm full, so what do I do? A, I need a nice coffee. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I really don't know why I'm making this video. I just, my phone has to charge and I have nothing to do. So I took my camera out. <laughs> a, I want a nice coffee because I have not slept. I did not sleep last night. I finished packing at 12. I got in bed by 1. I couldn't fall asleep until 2. Maybe 2.30. Then I woke up at 3.15 to shower and leave the house by 4.05. So I'm running on one hour of sleep right now. I'm exhausted and all I want to do is just chug an iced coffee and go about my day. I just don't have any and I don't know where to go because like I'm really particular. Like I don't want to drink some like shitty like you know. Someone knock? Anyways, so I'm, I'm just going to give you a rundown of like what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. So this is what I'm feeling and thinking tired um but i'm feeling not lonely but i don't know what to do with myself because there's so many different things i want to do yes i could have planned but i'm not always a planner so i'm like okay i know i want to see wicked the musical but i have to wait until 4 30 tomorrow to buy the rush tickets and like i just that kind of because i don't know if i'm going to do that tomorrow that kind of i don't know it's like am i going to brooklyn am i going to midtown am i going to stay here like where am I going? So that's why I'm just waiting for my phone to charge. And then I'm gonna kind of look some stuff up. Yeah, that's like not even what I came to make this video for. That just kind of ended up being said. But I'm really excited to see what the music go. Okay, so this is like what I am. I had this thought in my mind that I was thinking yesterday, especially because um, yesterday was like kind of significant, not significant, but like, um, I have this thought in my head that I've been thinking for the past two days. Um, on Saturday it's so dumb it's so so dumb it's not dumb it's so random and it's gonna sound very dumb and you know like okay Ashley duh but I just really want to say this to people who don't really take it 
in because I'm someone who had such an attachment to money um, as a source of happiness I had such an attachment to it and like money could make me happy at a certain point in my life like I could honestly say it made me happy and it doesn't make me happy anymore and I'm really realizing that um, I mean like money does make me happy but like it's a different type of happiness you know it's not internal happiness so what I'm really trying to say is it's really interesting how you really are faced with that when things are going wrong and you suddenly have to come to terms with like okay I have things I have money I have materialistic things so like that doesn't change shit it's like someone that's grieving over someone's death for example can't go to the Bora Bora things, those little huts and get five star service of everything and fed the best meals and feel good, they're gonna feel like shit. Like, I really realized that because all the things that, like what I was going through in December, I'm just gonna fucking say it, I went through a breakup in December, okay? I went through a fucking breakup and it wasn't easy. It was one of those breakups where it's like, you both don't want it to happen, but you both know it has to happen, so it has to happen. That's all I'm saying. Um, no one did anything wrong um so that's what i was dealing with and it was really hard um and it, it gets so much easier as the days go by like i'm not gonna lie to you and be like oh like i feel 100 percent back to like the happiest happiest ashley i've ever been like no like i'm still going through it in certain ways i'm just able to like cope with it and be happy and live my day-to-day -day life without it affecting me it just kind of like hits me at random points of the week like oh yeah right you know what i mean so what i'm trying to say is that i think the past two three days has been like a little bit harder for me i don't know why maybe it's because i'm going on a trip and like usually like i would like talk to, like you know like it, i think it's because i'm going on a trip and just because like a lot of significant things have been happening in life that the news that i'm sh this, this news that i'm sharing with is now with like m some of my other friends and like other people that i wouldn't have usually shared with before but you know so i feel like i really feel that um what's the word um that part of my life that i really feel that part missing so i haven't been the greatest these past few days but it's funny because these past few days like i straightened my hair and like oh my god my hair grew so much um i got a sponsorship deal and they paid me double what they were supposed to so like i got a lot of money in one day and that's going towards my trip and then on top of that I was going to New York in two days at the time and on top of that I got like the iPhone 11 Pro on that day and I got a sick ass camera and like I got my nails done that day like all these materialistic things that would have made me so happy before but like they didn't even phase me they didn't even fucking phase me none of it my friend asked me if I was excited for New York and I was like yeah I'm excited well which is kind of normal for me because I'm not like someone who's like oh my god oh my god I'm counting down the days like I'm not like that um but like everything like nothing was phasing me the iphone 11 i was like oh nice like yay cool and it felt normal in like two minutes and didn't even really play around with the camera like i wasn't excited over it because in my heart in my mind like there's lingering things going on that i'm like damn like none of the shit matters like none of the shit matters it's crazy um because like when you're going through something that like and that just goes to show me that like if you're unhappy i'm not saying that i am unhappy because i know i'm happy i just have my moments right now because i'm still not used to everything um i'm just trying to say that like i'm getting emotional because i've been so good so i'm really hard on myself when i'm emotional now because i've just been so good and so productive and so happy and but again, I have these moments of unhappiness that kind of hit me like one or two days at a time. And I just think because all these good things were happening, like I know they're not good things because they're materialistic things, so they really hold no value. But like, it, it just really reminded me of how insignificant these things are in my life. Like I could have just gotten my Mercedes Benz C-Class two door white with red leather interior. You know what I mean? And I probably wouldn't have felt it. I probably would not have felt anything. I probably would have been like, oh my god, like this is so nice. I'm so happy about this car. Like, wow, it's dope. Like, dream car. Why? Oh my god, this is sick. And then I would have just like moved on. <laughs> and be that would be because I'm not internally at peace with myself. So I know this video like took like a weird emotional turn. I'm on my period, by the way. <laughs> 
that's also why I've been every react these past two days. Um, I'm, when I'm on my period, I cry over everything. You can steal my food out the fridge. I will cry. I won't even get mad at you. Um, yeah, so, like, I'm saying all this to say, like, A, um, make sure that you have internal happiness um, that is coming from you. Like, you're the only source of your happiness before you get into... A relationship I think I didn't put value on that because I was so inexperienced I was so inexperienced in romantic and emotional relationships before my previous relationship so I never really made sure to be like okay I can't be like emotionally dependent I can't be like you know dependent on you for my happiness um and i wasn't but like certain parts of me were which still affects you there are some people that their whole happiness is their partner that was never me which is why i feel like i've been able to bounce back okay um but just yeah that's like my one word of advice is like don't let someone be your only source of happiness let them add to what you already are um my friend was saying like this analogy for no that was something else actually never mind um that is my first tip and my second tip is to um really really give less value to materialistic things because materialistic shit doesn't matter if your house is burning down you're gonna save your fucking Louis Vuitton bag that costs you nine racks or you're gonna save your cat or your little sibling you know what I mean it's the people close to you that really matter and the things that make you happy and give you peace in life um, that aren't materialistic because again like it's okay to feel good about these things like if I if I was in like a really good place then I would be so excited over these things not to say that that's like there's nothing wrong with being excited like it's okay to be like so happy about it but what i'm trying to say is like when shit is bad shit is bad so you can't like be happy over materialistic shit because then what happens if that goes away then you're fucked not only that like what happens if you something bad i don't know what i'm saying like what i'm trying to say is like i think you understand what i'm trying to say just like really make sure you know what makes you happy. Um, make sure you just figure out what makes you happy because this ain't it. Like this ain't it. <laughs> you can't go buy a luxury villa in Bora Bora and think everything's gonna go away. You can't go buy a new car and think it's gonna go away. Cause it's not. So heal your wounds, deal with your stress, Deal with your depression the best that you can. Cope, heal, don't mask it with materialistic things. Not that I was doing that. Um, in case you're confused, I wasn't doing that. I was just buying shit because I had to upgrade my phone and because I wanted to go to New York and because I just, I, yeah, you know. Um, but it's just like when I kind of sat down and realized all the things that were happening that one weekend were not making me happier. I was like, okay, now I really know that those things don't make me happy, and that's good. Um, the reason why I came to New York is to have like a mental reset and do a lot of self-reflection, gain a lot of clarity on how I feel and think about everything going on going on in my life right now. Things that you guys don't know about, not that stuff, the other stuff, um, and to really kind of push myself out of my comfort zone. Because I am here alone, and this is the first trip I've ever done alone. Mind you, it is pretty easy. I've been here before, and Toronto is very close by and very similar. Um, I'm looking at the at, like Times Square right now if you're wondering what I'm like staring at. Is that Times Square? I think it's like leading up to Times Square. <laughs> I don't really know. But, yeah. So that's why I'm here. Um, I hope I can come home and feel refreshed and feel better and feel healed i will be so happy but i know that it's all god's timing so yeah
R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. I wasn't even like a ride or die fan. Like I was, I li I literally don't know much about ball. Like I I just watched the Raptors championships and stuff. I know who he is, who he was, but um, for some reason it hit me. Like I cried over it four times. I think what hit me was all the families involved and the daughter and the fact that like that's his legacy that would have he would have left behind and like she's not here anymore and then it's like okay well maybe that had to happen because she wouldn't have been able to live without her dad you know what i mean like what if it was just him i don't think she could have been like it's just so sad oh my i'm gonna cry again <laughs> i don't i don't even like i'm telling you guys I'm so emotional <laughs> I, I'm not even a fan like I've never I couldn't even tell you what team he's on no I think he's on the Lakers I think he was on the Lakers it's just so sad like I actually said a prayer for them yesterday it's so sad it's like I'm gonna cry okay I used to go <laughs> I used to go get an iced coffee and take a Maxidol so my cramps go away and like this video might never make it <laughs> This video might never make it. If you're seeing this, consider yourself blessed because this video is a fucking mess and I don't really know what's happening. Um, all I know is that I got the new iPhone so the charging is super quick so it's probably already like at like 90 or something. Yeah, it's at 70%. That shit is so fast. So, I'm about to go. I'm gonna go find a nice coffee spot, maybe cry a little over someone I didn't know and yeah I'm about to go get my iced coffee and live my best life and get my bags oh do you want like a room tour it's gonna take us about two seconds okay it's literally gonna take us two seconds so this is my view it's like nothing crazy but it's cute enough I get to see buildings I'm this is mad ugly though what is this fucking trash Toronto would never. Then there's this sign. I'm gonna try and get like a cute picture of me here. I think I can do it. Okay, get ready. This is the tour. This is the room. So remember that door? I'm standing right in front of it. This is the room. There's like a desk here, which they should have put there. Then there's the window. Then there's the other window behind the bed. Then there's me. This is my fit of the day. I just have on like cargo pants, my Falcons furry jacket and um, furry little purse. This is the bathroom. Oh, there's my milkshake. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, there's a tub. It's a toilet. This is it, guys. This is it. I like it. It's cute. It's all I need. I'm alone, so. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cry. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and like the video to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> That's horrible.